It's February, so black history story time. Now, I mentioned the badass woman Eunice Carter in one of my presidential videos about Dewey, but she deserves a video in her own right. Born in 1899 in Atlanta, Georgia, Eunice was one of the few people of pigmentation at the time to be lucky enough to be born into some semblance of wealth and class. Her grandfather was a self-made man purchasing his own freedom from slavery before the Civil War, and both of her parents were college educated. Her father was the international secretary for the YMCA, and her mom was an activist and organizer for the YWCA and the NAACP. Eunice followed in her parents' footsteps and attended college where she began showing how much of a badass she was right off the bat, graduating in four years with both with a bachelor's and a master's of social work. And after working as a social worker for a short period of time like her mother, she decided to go on and study law. And in 1932, she became one of the first women of color to graduate with a law degree from Fordham University in New York. She tried for a short time to get a private practice off the ground, but was unsuccessful and ended up volunteering as an assistant for the New York City Women's Court. This position did eventually springboard her into a political career where she was appointed by Mayor LaGuardia for the Secretary of Commission on Conditions in Harlem. Say that three times fast, that was like my third take, trying to not go all dyslexic on that title. She used the position to start forming political connections and get her grit, determination, and thorough work ethic noticed by the right people. Those connections and that work ethic would, in 1935, get her appointed as the very first black female assistant district attorney in New York. In 1935, this is like when they were still beating the shit out of people for drinking out of the wrong water fountain. And women's place was in the home, cooking and cleaning. Hell, they'd only even been allowed to vote for 15 years. And Eunice is over here a black woman assistant district attorney fighting crime and shit. Like I said, she's a badass. So now at this time, organized crime was a big deal. This was the era of mobsters and gangsters. It was literally all out war in the streets at time. Corruption was rife through every level of government and business and people were getting sick of it. So Thomas Dewey, the district attorney, put together a team of 20 people to crack down on organized crime. And Eunice was appointed as one of those 20. However, she was still a black woman and she kind of got the shit jobs on the team. See, Dewey, being afraid of looking like a moral warrior, didn't really want to go after the prostitution angle of organized crime. After all, the moral warriors who got prohibition passed are kind of why we had all the organized crime in the first place. And Dewey felt that prostitution was too widespread and decentralized to be really affected by mob control and therefore wasn't worth the time looking into. So he just sent all the tips, comments, calls, letters, complaints about prostitution to Eunice for her to deal with. But while Dewey thought that he was sweeping all the useless busy work into the corner for the black lady to deal with, while he and the white guys did the real police work, Eunice saw an opportunity to prove that she was better than them. And using her knowledge and connection from her days in the women's court, she started putting together connections where certain brothels and working girls never seemed to quite get prosecuted the way that they probably should have been. And the only way that that would be possible is if there was somebody powerful pulling some strings. She presented this information to Dewey and convinced him to let her raid a bunch of these brothels and bring all these prostitutes in for questioning. And because she's smart, she also went and arrested all the bondsmen who are always associated with bailing these girls out. So initially, the prostitutes were tight-lipped about knowing anything about mob connections to their brothels. But when none of the bondsmen, who normally bail them out, came to get them, their attitudes changed. And through plea deals and immunity, Eunice was able to get these women and brothel owners to spill a lot of information. And testify against Lucky Luciano. Now, Lucky was the boss of bosses in New York crime. He was the legit, real-life godfather. He was the one who brought all the warring crime families and organizations together and got them to coexist and work together. And he pretty much ran them all, and he was able to do all this without ever putting his name on something that would get him in trouble. Well, that is until Eunice started nipping on his heels. And now Dewey gave Eunice some due credit for this, but when it came time to prosecute Lucky, Dewey wanted all the spotlight for himself and Eunice was not on the prosecution team. Nonetheless, Eunice kept busting ass behind the scenes to prep witnesses and get testimony. And the result was that the most dangerous and powerful man in New York went to prison for 10 years before he was deported. All because the black girl in the corner cubicle found out that the devil's in the details of the shit that everybody else just thought was busy work. Eunice would continue working with Dewey and as a prosecutor and public servant for years, and then would go on to work for the United Nations, advancing women's issues. She served on the board of the YWCA. And because nobody could come up with shorter fucking names for shit. She also worked on the executive committee of the International Council of Women. Like, were all those words really necessary? 
All that to say that I think that she is one of the unsung heroes of women's rights and civil rights, and she deserves a lot more recognition in U.S. history and black history and suffrage history than she gets. She was a bad bitch who literally made the streets safer by showing up the members of the good old boys club, who then went on to build their political careers off of her hard work. And that is something worth talking about.